Robbie showed up on their doorstep. But police now say he's not, and they have DNA to prove it. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live at the Santa Fe Police Department. And Jessica, DNA samples were taken from Robert Terrazas and Robbie's mother after Terrazas made his claim two days ago. The announcement was made here just a few hours ago. The result of the exam that Mr. Uh, is that Mr. Terrazas is not Miss Romero's missing child, Robbie Romero. Friends of Robbie's brother met Terrazas last year. He told them his name was Robert Terrazas, but also believed his name was Robert Romero. The friends thought he looked like the boy who vanished 11 years ago and found it odd that Terrazas didn't remember his childhood. So they introduced him to Robbie's mother, Evelyn, on Wednesday. Police were called and the DNA samples were taken. It usually takes weeks, if not months, to get DNA results, but detectives hired a private firm to speed up that process and have been working nonstop interviewing Terrazas' family and friends. Now, a lot of manpower and additional money spent on this, all because this man claimed to be Robbie Romero. Still, after all of this, the chief says Terrazas will not be charged or have to pay the department back. He says he doesn't believe Terrazas or anyone else concocted up a plan to harm anyone. I'd be hard-pressed to say it was a hoax. Uh, I would probably classify it more as an unfortunate, bizarre lead that didn't pan out. It was an emotional few days for Robbie's mother, Evelyn. After she heard about the results, we heard that she started sobbing. And she told us just a few minutes ago that she doesn't have any anger toward Terrazas. And she's still hopeful that she will find her son. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, this latest twist in the case has garnered attention from media across the nation. The police chief said someone who knows something about the case may see a report on the story and will hopefully call them.